Welcome back fish lovers, I'm Yar from Yar Aquariums and today we're going to be talking about the blue dream shrimp, tank size, tank mates, water parameters, breeding, feeding, temperature, everything you need to know to keep a healthy shrimp. Make sure you follow me on my social medias JR Aquarium PR and JR Aquarium and this video starts now. Let's start with water parameters, but first, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, hit all to get notification every time we upload a new video, and please, don't forget to like, also comment down below. Alright, blue dream shrimps. Shrimp itself are getting pretty popular in the hobby, but before you get them, you need to make sure you know how to take care of them. They do best in a pH from 7 to 8. Let's talk about water hardiness. What this means, it means that the water have minerals such as calcium, sodium, and all these other minerals. I have more luck with them keeping them in hard water. Like I said, it means it have more minerals and this will help them to shred and grow. Temperature. Blue green shrimps are pretty hardy. They can tolerate temperatures from 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit but they don't like any drastic temperature change. If you keep them healthy, they can last from one to two years. So like you see, they don't have a pretty look lifespan, so make sure you breed them so you will have more blue green shrimps in the future. Feeding. Blue green shrimps are omnivores, which means they eat plants and animals, but they also are scavengers. That means that everything it fell down to the bottom, they will eat it. But they do and they prefer algae, pleco wafers and trim wafers. But you can feed them almost with everything and anything that fall down to the bottom, they will eat it. Including fish flakes, um, pleco wafers like I mentioned before, everything and anything. And they will pick on biofilm on plants, so if you have live plants or any life matter, they will pick on everything. And now the questions, how often should I feed my shrimp? I always recommend once a day. Once a day is more than fine and they will be healthy. Now, let's talk about tank size and tank mates. You will hear a lot of people like they are nano tanks, let's keep it in two gallon, five gallon. I always recommend a minimum out of 10 gallon. And like always in the fish hobby, into bigger, it's better. Why? Because it's easier to keep the water parameters and also they will have more room to explore around, eat stuff, and like I said, it's less work for you on keeping those water parameters. That's why no matter what, whatever you say, if you can keep them in a bigger tank, go ahead and do it. It's all depending on your budget and your space in your house, but I always say into bigger, go ahead and do it so don't hesitate to get a bigger tank if you have the budget and you have the space now we need to discuss and see what tank mates are good hard looking ross boras highly recommended you can keep them with them mystery snail is a great tank mate from the blue drink shrimp um, also with cardinal tetras this is a great tank mate they won't pick up them neon tetras they also look beautiful and they're like perfectly fine with this fish. So the rule of thumb here is any fish that they cannot feed them in their mouth is good to keep with your shrimp. Let's talk about breeding. All you really need to breed the blue dream shrimp is a male and a female. Sometimes it's not even that hard to spot the females. Even when you go to the fish store, you will be able to see the females like this one here carrying eggs. So that's the easiest way to identify females. So go ahead and get you a bunch of shrimps. As long as you have good water parameters, they will breed. This is an easy shrimp to breed. Once you have males and females, they will breed. But now, if you want to speed up the process of breeding, go ahead and turn all that temperature higher no more than 82 degrees, 
whenever I'm trying to breed uh, shrimps, what I do is keep them around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not talking about Celsius here. 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And this will speed up the breeding process. But also, you need to be really careful because this will short the lifespan of the shrimp. So make sure you're breeding them and if not, you will end up with no shrimp because their lifespan will get definitely shorter. Thank you for watching. So you don't miss any video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, hit all to get a notification every time we upload a new video. And please don't forget to like. Thank you very much to be here. I'm super grateful. We keep growing. I'm so excited. We are back with more videos. So see you in the next one.